Right, I've been having a think. I know what you're thinking. Oh no, she's been thinking again. Yes, I've been thinking. Ow! So, that's the question now, isn't it? Do I want a potato bed there? Do I? I wasn't sure if you'd show up today because it's been raining. everyone welcome back to my allotment diaries my name is Emma these are my allotment diaries um, and welcome to a very rainy miserable day on the allotment plot we've kind of gone from nice kind of spring weather where it was getting up to 14 15 degrees every day and sunny and it was just glorious to having a yellow rate a yellow warning in place for rain and wind today I think the warning comes into force a little bit later so I was hoping to get an hour or so here just to dither about and um, spend some time outside on the plot. It does look like the rain has died down a little bit now, so I'm gonna get out and do some jobs straight away. How are you all doing? I hope you had a lovely gardening weekend. Um, I hope the weather's holding up where you are. I know I'm in the south of England, so I'm sort of South London. So we do tend to get nicer weather earlier on in the year. And I know that if you're up north, you probably are having terrible weather and I'm sorry about that. But I am like South England, so when I start seeds and everything, and I'm like doing all the stuff at the allotment plot, you, you know, it's because the weather's okay here and it tends to stay okay. We might get a little bit more cold, but you know, it always seems to warm up a bit quicker where I am than anywhere else in the UK, so that's why I'm doing it. But take it with a pinch of salt, guys. And if your gardens aren't ready to do it yet, then you know, just watch my videos for inspiration and, and get going when they are ready. Basically, it's all, all, all I can say. Right, I can actually hear the rain has stopped. That is actually incredible. Right, let's get out, do some jobs. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm not ready at all, not prepared. It's a race now, because I know it's gonna rain again. It's like a race to do some jobs. Let's actually get that coat off, I think. It's not that cold today. Let's get my bag off so I don't lose my allotment key. And let's go, Mario. As always, first thing we'll do is feed Einstein, just because I feel like he always needs food. I dropped this bag the other day at the plot. I dropped a massive pile of it, and guess who I saw eating it as just as I was leaving? The fox. I think the fox loves mealworms as well, so if I drop it, it's all right. Something will always eat it. Something will always eat something. There's something to eat everything. Even the most obscure things, even wood, you know? There's like those wood worm things. Something always eats everything. All right, there you are, Einstein. A little bit of worm for you. Ugh. Right, I've been having a think. I know what you're thinking. Oh no, she's been thinking again. Yes, I've been thinking. I've been thinking about these two front beds at the allotment plot that kept me awake last night, thinking about what on earth to put in them. It's the only two beds that are unplanned. And I think the reason is because I left my brassicas in it all winter. So I kind of assumed that they would be full. Like I didn't think about what I was gonna replace them with. Um, they don't get that much sun because they're at the front of the plot and this is kind of the shady end. Not only does the shed give shade, but this big tree here in their garden gives quite a lot of shade to this front bit of the plot, but it does get some sun. I would say it gets around five hours a day. So great for brassicas, great for kind of salad crops, but I was thinking, what about potatoes? What if I whack in different potatoes? I love growing potatoes. I think potatoes are the bee's knees. I think they're one of the best crops ever actually if i'm honest they're one of my favorites to grow so easy so exciting to pull them all up and yeah they grow for quite a long time and i haven't had much room on my allotment to grow potatoes because as soon as i get my early potatoes in i kind of run out of like there's nowhere else to put more potatoes so i'm thinking this bed here might be good for main crop potatoes so sorry about these parakeets there are so many parakeets around this area and they are so noisy. Yeah, I'm talking about you. They, it's so weird, like just seeing like random parrots like flying around, because they are like parrots, aren't they? It's so weird, I'm in London, what's happening? Anyway, where was I? 
right main crop potatoes in here because they go out a little bit later and then this one I was thinking second earlies because I've never ever grown second earlies before and I think that might be the bed for it but main crop potatoes, I actually want to grow two different varieties. Um, one of them I think is Charlotte potatoes. I think that's a main crop. If it's not, it's a second early. Um, one or the other. And the other one is... <sighs> Every time I get to talk, it's like they know. The other variety is Maris Piper, one of my favourite Christmas potatoes. And I think I'm going to make a new pot potato bed. I think I'm going to make a new potato bed here. I haven't known what to do with this for a long time and for a long time people were saying grow potatoes here. I think I'm going to grow some potatoes here. So I'm going to create a bed here and I'm going to try and figure out a way that you can still walk around it while having a bed here. So we're going to try and kind of, what we're going to do is clear it and lay out the bed and see what it looks like. This I think is a structure that's fallen down. It doesn't really surprise me on my plot, but let's see if we can rebuild that structure. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Just a random stick in the ground. Sometimes I just think, why are there always poles in the ground? What are they for? Why have I done this? It's got wire on it as well. I don't know. That is some kind of structure for raspberries, I think. I'm not entirely sure what I was trying to do there, but okay. These rocks might be good for a wildlife area. Yeah, there's a wood there, so I don't think I'll There you are. I wasn't sure if you'd show up today because it's been raining. And I know you don't like the rain. I fed you Einstein. Wasn't sure if Einstein would show up at all actually because it has been raining and he doesn't seem to like the um, the rainy weather but I think he's seen me digging in here so he's all excited aren't you for fresh worms. Oh he's singing away, singing away are you? Right I've, I've hit a little bit of a stumbling block because I'm thinking about this pathway here coming down and then where does it hit the bed and where does it not hit the bed? Do you know what I mean? I think what I need to do is continue that pathway a little bit longer, otherwise that bit there will just be a bit of a no man's land. I don't want any no man's lands here. Do you know what I mean? Oh, you found one. Well done, Einstein. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't want any areas at my allotment plot that don't have a purpose or are just kind of left blank mud. Blank mud, plain blank mud, will grow into weeds and it will become unmanageable. I don't want any areas like that. I've learnt my lesson from my last plot where I left the whole back of it. You have to fill it with something, anything, anything. where I could put it. Do I want a potato bed there though? That's the question now, isn't it? Do I want a potato bed there? Do I? Do I want a potato bed there? Yeah, I do. I think I do. I think I do.
that didn't actually hurt me when I said ow just then. I just said ow because I hit a rock. I say ow a lot, even when I don't mean ow. I just mean like oh. I think I should say oh. Oh, a rock. How inconvenient for you to be there, rock. Right, okay. Good, that's down. That's down. Oh god, I'm getting covered in mud. I'm getting absolutely caked in mud. Absolutely covered in it today. It's a rainy, muddy, miserable day. But I just really needed to be down here today. I just really, really needed it. I don't even know what, I can't even explain why. I just needed to get outside and do something, you know, do something productive. This is productive in my eyes, by the way. Forget everything else, forget the washing, forget tidying, forget all that. This is product productivity. Okay, so we've got the pathway continuing from there to there. Very nice. Then I think here, perfect little place for a little potato bed, have some potatoes there. And then you can kind of walk around it and we're gonna have to find a way of kind of making that bit work. I think what I need to do is like walk around it a bit and imagine there's potatoes there. Do you know what I mean? See if it works. Way. Yeah, so it could work if that was there. Over there. Yeah, I think so. I think it works as a potato bed actually. I think it's, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I th I th the thing I'm worrying about is the position of the potato bed. That's the thing that's sort of bothering me. Is that the right position for it? But I do think I need something there. Even if it's not potatoes, something needs to be there rather than nothing. I think it works. I think it works. I think I can get around it there. Imagine that was all wood chipped. I think it does. However, I'm not gonna dig it out right this very second in time because it is too rainy and miserable today and I just wanted to get the structure sorted. And also, it's a bit evil in there. Um, if evil had a name, it would be bindweed. It's absolutely full of bindweed and all sorts of other absolute horrors, including a load of plastic and bricks and stuff. So I think this needs a proper, dig i'd love to do no dig on it but i think the amount of plastic and rubbish under there i think it just needs digging out so i'm gonna really really dig it might double dig it never double digged anything in my life i don't think but i will double dig that but that that's going to be a really nice potato bed and hopefully the potatoes will help the soil too so brilliant <laughs> These gloves are from Cool Job and I have a discount code below if you want to buy any of their lovely gardening gloves. So I use them all the time in the garden, they do fit me, it's just I rarely wear them properly because I'm always taking them off to try and fiddle with the camera. So anyway, absolutely caked in mud now, um, but loving life. The sun's coming out a little bit now which is really good. Um, I was just working on this little wildlife area here. Just under these trees. I've just cleared it, I've dug it out a bit and tried to level the ground because it was very bumpy and all over the place. It's a very nice little area and then just next to it we've got obviously the wildlife pond. So I want to extend the wildlife area, it'll be all round here. This over here, these pallets will be my bug hotel but somebody said about a log pile. Apparently wildlife love log piles and didn't I have all those logs? I'm asking you guys because I don't remember where I put them. I had a load of logs, a little pile of them, they're probably round here somewhere. And um, I tidy them up, tidy them up. Oh, you know where they are? I used them to prop up all my raised beds, didn't I? Didn't I? Yes, I did, but now I've put the beds together, I think I can, I can remove them all. Right, let's get all the logs together. Right, 
right the beginning of a log pile um, I don't know what else a log pile can be other than a pile of logs so I think I've done it right I've got a couple of tree stumps there which I thought might add to the effect it's right by the pond so froggy can move in if any frogs are listening to this or watching you are welcome to move into my log pile house it's not much of a house there's not many gaps under it I need to find some more logs really I'm not sure where I put them all but yeah I think that's looking quite wildlifey right well I will continue my quest to make a beautiful wildlife area here um probably next time I come I think that's looking really good now and really bare and nice and ready for planting and stuff and thinking about what's going to go there I think if I was a wildlife animal or a bird I think I'd like it if I was wildlife I think I'd appreciate the effort anyway well I'll leave it there today and um, because it's raining on and off like I said I've got the yellow weather warnings coming into play um, I think by midday um, and it's going to be really windy and an allotment plot is not the place to be if it's going to be windy because you can get impaled by all sorts around here especially with my dodgy trees that can keep falling down so I love you and leave you um, I will see you again in my next allotment diary um, subscribe to my channel if you're new see you over on Instagram before then and um, yeah see you next time thanks so much for watching guys happy gardening bye